see. Mm -hmm. But they knew what it is, and the false, and the false promised them that they, they, they let them know. Now is the last moment that we should make an uprising. And the Poles promised, yes, we will, it will be the signal for the uprising to the whole camp. And then two days before it came an order, we must um, postpone. We have, we, we got a, a message and we must postpone the uprising. So what did this on the commando? They brought the, you know, the crematorium, uh, three and four and five had a roof uh, from uh, wood, wood, mm -hmm. wood. It was most a wooden construction, not so as the two and uh, three. Mm -hmm. So they make the racks in uh, in fluid in the kerosene, and they they gave the racks between the balcony, yes, mm -hmm. so, and uh, the whole was prepared with uh, the whole wooden construction was. Uh, Soaked with saturated with sat saturated. Yeah. Uh -huh. Then it came it came to the, the then came the the Zonder commando. It is written on the on the on the dot uh, revolt in Zonder. I make such a uh -huh. uh, article. Uh, so he took uh, er ausgerufen the numbers. Number this austreten, austreten. Nobody is go was going out, and then one uh, one hunger grenade came, and instead of of the uh, you know one of these uh, of these uh, peoples of this uh, Zonder commando had a hunger grenade, mm -hmm. and he warped the hunger grenade between the seven assessment, and the order took Steine uh, the stones, and uh, the so it began the uprising, mm -hmm. and then come 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 a great shooting. Yes, they 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 um, three three assessment were killed, and then it came, came a shooting, and they came a siren, and they came the three thousand of all this uh, um, garnison, and they shoot at all these two hundred uh, in the crematorium four, but this crematorium. Five and uh, Grematorium two and three. They they told they yeah and one capo they have, they have verbrannt the Deutsch capo they they put him in the oven uh, lively and they they burnt him yes the Deutsch mm -hmm. from Zentrum command and so they they they, they told they took the, the whole um, uh, uprising uh, the plan of uprising is working. So they cut the the wires from the commando, from the Zonder commando one, from the Zonder commando two, and they 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 ran away, and they hit some some few grenades, and they, they, they ran away uh, the uh, the the prisoners from Zonder commando one, two, and then three. On the four, it began. Mm -hmm. And on the four it was liquidated nearly, but then they they began yes in the in, in the two zone and three two and three they cut the, the they cut they were not they were not the draw they were not endangered at that moment but they they saw it mm -hmm. it is in flames or so they cut the uh, number four was burning burning yes. Oh. And that time they burned, burning was and destroyed. So you see, this is one proof that it was in the, uh, with the historians don't like, also not the, the prisoners don't like to hear, but uh, the truth is, is the truth, that it was in the hands of Zonderkommando, with eigene Kräfte, you understand, to destroy the Zonderkommandos. In, uh, no, not counting that we will die, but it was, in the, and they did it. This was the proof. I mean, what you're saying is they could have destroyed the crematory. Yes, they could destroy. They, they could destroy the crematory. But this uh, this hope to survive and this that we will make this and the last, the desperate, the desperate, uh, and the desperate situation without any 
any flame on any, any the slightest that you hope for for um, uh, saving life make them they will make shoes yes and so it does. but this was when they could all the crematorium could be burned before they began the, the the whole this was in October 44 for this was 70 October on Shabbat 44. I bet the crematory number four was burned, burned to the ground and, be, and they, they escaped from two and three but they didn't destroy them. They didn't destroy them but they didn't escape farther, well, too far. They escaped and the SS, they had some hand grenades and when the SS men were going upon them so they threw some hand grenades upon them and the SS men didn't knew how how they are um, equipped with weapons so they were very careful. careful so they let them go and make a, a, a circle yeah. behind it and then they um, was hidden themselves in a barn you know in a wooden barn and mm -hmm. then they, they they put the one barn in flames and they all all uh, was, was so how many do you think there were? Uh, about 400 uh, Zonder Commando people were there in this in that one bar. Huh? Yes. But, uh, but the, and, and one survived, as I will you now, this, this Philip Miller survived. He was the, the, this, the only man who was he from, from four, three or two? Four. He was from four. Yeah, and he was directly involved in this uprising. But when he saw what it happened, yes, so, you know, there were some channels to the, uh, to the, you know, to this, uh, um, to the uh, uh, chimney, there were some channels. And these channels was, was uh, covered with a, with a, with a concrete, concrete cover, you know. Mm -hmm. And so he, uh, he um, elevated the cover, lifted it, yeah. And he uh, uh, hide himself in this channel. Mm -hmm. Two days he was there. Mm -hmm. And after two days he was liquidated. And then it was a commando which was cleaning all this. All this. The so they got commando. new Sunday commando that came. No, 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 new. The same who who was not shot. Look, they only shot this. The people ones who escaped. Who, who escaped and the other who didn't. Uh, on uh, crematorium 5, they didn't involve. Some in crematorium uh, 2 and 3 didn't escape. They were there, yes? This they didn't kill. Oh, the, the ones from 2 and 3 didn't try to escape? Yes, not all. Some. 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 And this... Right. 4 is destroyed. 4 is totally Some from 2 and 3 try to escape. Yes. Did Nobody from five tried. Maybe some some was involved. Not all. What happened in one? What happened in one? They, they took all these uh, uh, all these people together. Yes. But what happened in Sunday? This is tape number six, side A. It's continuation from tape five. Still, November the 3rd, 1978. Now, we were talking about the escape in the crematory, which I still, the Sunder Commando, I still can't get the numbers straight. So be patient so, and we'll go over it again. We have number five. Five. It was actually numbered five. It okay. said five. All right. Yes. That no one tried. Three and two. Three and two. Some escaped. Some escaped. Some, some did some not. And, and it worked partially, you know. One of these can partially worked, but not in full. Yeah. No. But four burned all together. Four, four burned all together, and five was a little. Some of five. Uh, run to four. Some of the five crematorium run to four. 
as crematorium 5 was working. Crematorium 4 was not so much working. There people were many, many of there were attics and much of the people were were living there. Yes, so that they had also the possibility to give all these racks soaked in in this uh, uh -huh. in this uh, kerosene uh, to prepare the the burning for crematorium. Now, one well, greatest massacre was on the on the court of the crematorium four. Well, then we we were talking about number one. Yes. But number one and number number one is in Auschwitz. Forget That's about it. So Auschwitz. when we talk about Birkenau, two and we three. talk about two, two and three, three four, four, and five. five. Yes. So the two and three, they 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 thought that the that uh, with the flames that the plan is working with the uprising. So they cut the 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 wires, wires and they broke out about one, two hundred, three hundred people. Yes, together. Mm -hmm. And they ran away. And when the assessment came, but the assessment were occupied by the liquidation of crematorium four, which was far away, about uh, one kilometer, you know. Mm -hmm. It's a, a little. And then when the assessment came upon them, so they threw a few granites, and the assessment didn't know what they, for weapons they have, so they encircled them later and they put them in the barn when they tried to defend themselves and the barn with the flame throwers. You know what flame throwers? Flame, sure. Yes, and, and they, they were already... And then they were brought to the crematorium, this this uh, um, burnt uh, assessment, and the, the rest of the Sonderkommando burned them in the ovens. Burned the assessment? No, the assessment, this... this, uh, this uh, their their friends, their oh. comrades, we escaped. They had to bring them back. They, they had them bring them back. Uh, now let me ask you. Then till the end. And some of them were die not uh, not were dying. Were not not quite uh, dead. dead. So they told the sto the whole story in the last the last um, oh. moment. Right. Now, so then from then until the Russians came, no, only crematory two, three, and five worked. Yes, this was liquidated for. Four was liquidated. So from then until the uh, Russians came when? Russians came on the 27th of uh, of June, of June, no, of January. January of 45. But then the transport ceased to come. In the till the end of October came only transport. So practically work at crematorium five and crematorium three. Yes. For Where the were they bringing the people from? From Tesienstadt, oh. from France, from Slovakia. The last transport was from Slovakia when the uprising was there. How many do you think they were bringing a day? No, it was different when from Tesienstadt came during the October, November and October, 30,000 people. The last near the or or they get the or ghetto. They they liquidated the war. The only 10,000 people left there. Mm -hmm. Then from France, from Holland, there uh, brought people. Now let's go back again to the day that the Russians came. That was January. I was not there when the Russians came. Right, but no, but there. let's let's January what? Twenty seventh. January twenty seventh, nineteen forty five. Before what happened before? What were they burning them on the twenty sixth? No. Look. All right, go ahead. Tell me. Then it seats then. This is what I am telling you. This is this I learned later. Uh -huh. What I couldn't explain what how it was in Birkenau. We, I, I remember that we got order about November 8 to destroy crematoria. You got there. Were you no, there? Yes, I was there. All right now. All right, then November 8, 44. You remember? You were yes, November I, the 8, 44. So I was there, and it was. The make an Abbruch commando, you know, Abbruch commando, it's destruction commando from 1,000 uh, prisoners, and they got an order to destroy crematoria. Ziegel after ziegel, brick after brick, very nice to clean up and to staple this, yes, like mm -hmm. Germans are under the commando, and they only one crematorium worked at the end, crematorium five. And burned people who died 
in the camp. They no, stopped killing him. Stopped killing him. No guys did. The last transport which was gassed was in, I think, in November 6th, when the Slovak from the Slovak uprising came the people. That was the last time. Uh -huh. Yes. Not from the time. And then we got the the uh, uh, no maintenance squad. We got the order to demontate this uh, this uh, ventilators and this uh, this uh, this fence. demolish them. Demolish them. All, all this uh, the, this uh, bar this equipment. You know. To take it down or take to it, take it away. No, to take it down or to make it to to clean, clean it, it up. up to conserve it with some Vaseline, to pack it uh -huh. nicely, to make signs on it, to give it in, in, in cases, yes. and so to, uh, to... To be shipped back. To be shipped back. And this we Do made... you know where it was marked to be shipped? No, I thought to Gross Road, but I am not sure. Uh -huh. But I asked at that time, I asked to do to this to our boss, who was the Oberscharfführer, Steinmetz, you know, as mm -hmm. he was of the crack of the commando, right. and we was in good conditions with him as he wanted. Uh, first, we worked two years for him, and he wanted uh, us to organize for him. And so I asked him, "Look, uh, Mr. Oberscharf here, what you are doing with this? The Jews are already destroyed. The war is over. And now, where are you give, uh, sending these things?" And he told me. German, pass mal auf mein Junge, der Führer hat eine geheime Waffe. Jetzt geht's los über Europa. Und jetzt kommen die Polen und die Tschechen dran. Und wir machen 50.000 einen Tag. It, what it means, they will kill 50.000. We will ship this in the West Germany and we will make. So he thought that they, they, they Therefore, they didn't kill these this, uh, uh, um, inmates, that they thought they will stop with this uh, weapon, with this Wunderwaffe, maybe atom uh, bomb and so And then they will have enough time to, to, to finish uh, the, the other people. Atom bomb? Atom bomb, yes, the Wunderwaffe. He told the Wunderwaffe, a miracle. He didn't thought of atom waffe. Der Führer hat eine geheime, he has a secret weapon. Oh, secret weapon. Secret weapon. But he doesn't say Adam. No, no, no. He does a secret weapon, mm -hmm. then it comes over Europe, and now we will stop, we will win the war, and the Czechs and the Poles will be, will be finished. Uh -huh. And for them we will, we have to send this, this stuff away, and we will make more much than, than we, uh -huh. we did here. So he was, in, it was on the end of, of of November, and this destruction of crematoria, which I am telling, telling to you, it took till the I think till the end of the of the year. Then were rumors that the camp will be evacuated and will be um, for the exchange for prisoners. It was a parole. But one day, on the January 16, there came uh, all officers disappeared. Officers, the lager fearer, and they uh, were in lager only this uh, Unterschar fearer and this smaller charges. And we got uh, the order to to burn all all uh, cartote, all lists from the blocks, all. So the Schreibers came and blockovi for the blocks, and they burned all these mm. documents. What mm -hmm. was that? And so, also they forbrand the documents of seven of Zonderkommando, which were at that time seventy, yes, mm -hmm. seventy people, and they were isolated. But they also burned their documents. And when they, then, uh, when they knew it, so they, they, break out from the block and mixed with other people. And then, when later they cried Zonderkommando antreten that they should uh, uh, burn these uh, people on the, 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 the life, so nobody came. They couldn't find them out. Mm -hmm. So Zonderkommando was uh, emerged into other, other people, and so these 70 people of Zonderkommando survived. Mm -hmm. 
Ja, you say you left. I left. Look, then, I mean, then it was evacuation. Then, then in next two days, then on 18th of of uh, January. January 44 began evacuation. 45. 45. In the morning evacuation, Antreten, alle and alle lager Antreten. There were 54,000 people, and the inmates in the whole area camp of Auschwitz, Bonowitz, Gliwitz, and uh, all these Harmensen. So. In Auschwitz, one too. In Auschwitz, also one too. The whole camp, the whole camp. Back in now, everything. Everything. Back in about 10,000 at mm -hmm. the time. So we had on the batches of three or five thousand people were angetreten, you know, and they were going on the guards to some direction. You were going? Also. Yes. Right, now tell me, now where does Otto come? How did you get a hold of Otto? The Otto? Otto, Otto. Um, Your ah, son. My son. Yeah. Ah, this I will tell him. Yeah, Look. we don't want to go off and leave him yet. No, no. <laughs> Look. What, after that, this I, I forgot to tell you. After the, uh, the uprising, mm -hmm. after the uprising, so the the, they were very afraid. This zum uh, uh, the Lagerführer and this Lagerleitung, you know, they were very afraid about the that the, it could be the uprising could have been uh, successful. Their seven SS men were were killed. Yeah, so they make an investigation and they uh, find out that the old Häftlinge, that the old prisoners. Uh, are very, very dangerous, and it was done through the old prisoners. There some, some of this, how was, were made these grenades, you know, in the Kruppwerke. Mm -hmm. Krupp had a work in Auschwitz I, you know. Mm -hmm. and no, I didn't know, but you, go ahead. Uh, so, in Auschwitz, Krupp, Siemens, and all this they had. And there were working women, and they worked on this, uh, you know, on these grenades to fill out with pulver, this uh, with, with uh, powder. powder. And Jewish women or it, just and Jewish and non-Jewish, uh, mostly Jewish. And they brought always when they had these heads uh, covered with these shaved heads, they had covered with um, with uh, with handkerchiefs, you know. And in this knoten, you know what is knoten? Uh, the the knot, knot, the knip. In the knip, they, they took always some of this a little powder. powder. And when they came from the camp, so they gave the power in the small uh, plastics uh, hidden with, with bread, knated with broth. With bro. yeah. And so they sent it to the crematoria, yeah, like a piece of bread. And so from one camp through this, as you can see, through these uh, wires, uh, we give it from one camp till the crematorium. Who organized this? Who, like, told them, save a little powder, yes, bring it no, like this? No, who this told it? Uh, many, you, many There had to be some people that... Gutmann, I will name you. Look, I will recommend you to, to read the book of Yuri Sur, Day for Day. Yes. Yes. Day for Day, there is a... Yeah. I know him, I met him. You met him? Yeah. So I wrote for him a special article, Five Escapes from Auschwitz. Yes. This, that, that is, uh, uh -huh. he, he visited... He wrote, they fought back. Yes, he visited me in Czechoslovakia. Uh -huh. He was upon, he made all Poland and every. And when he came to me, so I just had to uh, make the tapes with these people. So he asked me to make for him a special... So first time I wrote for him this story, the five escaped from Auschwitz. Uh -huh. And then you will uh, understand the whole thing which I am telling to you. Uh -huh. And the four Jewish girls which sent the, 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 powder. the powder were later, later executed. They were found out of them. So what they did, they, they saw that they are only the old Häftlinge. They make a subscription of the old Häftlinge, old uh, prisoners, okay. and they sent them at that time, they had an order not to kill the Häftlinge, you know. What date was, do you think this order came out? That order came out from Himmler, and in Himmler wanted, thought he 
Do you know what date it was? About when? Yes, it was in October, uh, in the end of October, after the uprising, in the end of, before it came this order to destroy the crematoria. Mm -hmm. So, this I later, uh, learned later what it is true. Uh, Himmler wanted to contact Eisenhower or somebody of the Allies, and that we would not speak with him. And the, the mediators were the, mainly the Swedes, Swede Red Cross. And they told him, you must promise that you will stop to kill Jews and to kill this, this, uh, and to destroy crematoria. And Himmler gave this order to, to, to be able to contact the Allies. Mm -hmm. But there were somebody others, uh, Kardenbrunner, uh, which wouldn't do it. And they killed uh, the uh, people under his jurisdictions. Uh, there were two groups. Some would have the peace uh, with the Western against the Russians, and some would kill the Jews. The Jews, to kill the Jews, is the first, um, uh, from fear, it is the main, main task, yes? Yeah. So, there was a subscription to, to bring out, to transfer all the uh, old Häftlinge from Auschwitz. That they should be only the new ones who doesn't uh, the experience to make an uh, uprising, who doesn't connection and so on. And these descriptions included also Otto, the, the Rosenfeld, Willi Nachmann, myself and myself, uh, all the Schlossers. Kolha, Mishpacha, you know, these are all the old Lagerhasen, as man says, the old Mishpacha. No, and now we wanted to organize some food for, for the, we, we knew we are going to transport, we were suspicious that maybe they will kill us and so, but nevertheless we thought if they will kill, they could kill us here, maybe we, we will go to the transport. So I was going to the, and or I organized some food and so, and then we were angetreten and we were already going, registered through the door for the transport. And when I was going with my, with Otto, with my hand, and Lagerführer Schwarzenberg saw me and my son, so he sh cried, Wo geht der Kleine? Who, where is, where is he going? Where is the little one going? Yeah. That I told, this is my son. Egal, zurück, beide. You, you understand? Yeah, sure. And he, so he, he uh, returned us both to, uh, to the camp. Uh -huh. And all my friends were away. Yeah. And I only, with Otto and Langfelder, was only, only uh, we were, we stayed from this old in the camp. Yes? Uh -huh. yeah. All people who was a potential. Uh, Where do you, what do you think happened to the other people? They, they were going to a very good camp, Kraus, for instance, yes? They brought him to Sachsenhausen and so and so. But well, why do you think he sent you back? This young, um, that, that uh, he wouldn't allow, it was not children allowed, you know. No. Children were not allowed. And they mean he will execute me, or my, this child. He, he wondered how the child is, is in camp. Mm -hmm. He didn't knew it. What he, happened? He was hidden in our Werkstatt, Lagerführer. Schwarzub was very, very uh, high person, but at this time he was there and he was counting the people and showing who is going of the camp, yes? And when he saw myself and Otto, so he told, point get a Kleine, like mein Sohn, egal, Zurich, by the way. Yes. And now we were waiting for, for a liquidation, yes? Maybe this would come, but in the meantime, on only one week, after this came the, the, uh, the Roskas, uh, the Befehl uh, to, to destroy the crematoria. In yes. order to destroy. I was one of the main Schlosser who, who made, uh, of the main, uh, so I get the commando, uh, to make a commando for this uh, demontage of, this, of these things. And the... Uh, demolition. The, demolition. Uh, only of this, uh, you know, these crews and this, this uh -huh. and so I got ten, ten people to, to do it, and uh, Dov was all, also with this, and uh, then Schwarzow forget about it. He had another Sorge, vielleicht ist er schon davon gelaufen. Ah, Schwarzow was transferred from the camp also, 
How old was he at that time? At that time, about 40. He was an old man then. No, because serious. the others, you said the other Yeah, the, or he was an officer, he was yeah. an fe- over, over for lieutenant, he was, a, he was educated. He was educated. Which, which crematories did you build? I worked first in the crematorium two. You built two? Two, I built, I was on the two when, uh, when, they, when they brought these uh, ventilators and these things. You uh, helped to build two? Yes. What and, about three, four, and five? And one time I was in five when they broke the, some pipes. On four, I wasn't. Otherwise, you didn't build them? No. All right, so let's go back to, now no. they send away him, and you're left with Otto, and... Uh, so, with Otto, and so we make this, uh, Otto, we make this work. And then we, we knew that we will, that the camp will be evacuated. So we make a hiding place first. We, had, we organized a, a, new, a very new suit, a very good suit underneath, yes. A very good uh, end of year. All this we have organized, prepared for, for escape. And we we we, we also make a hiding place uh, in the uh, where our was um, no that's no, 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 this uh, shop this uh, this shop. Mm-hmm. So we make a, in this shop we ziegel ausgelegt a hole. And we would uh, hide uh, with bretter and versteck, bis the Russian come. We, we have heard already that the, the, the Russian are coming. It was uh, the artillery was very strong. Oh, you strong. Get here? Yes, the artillery was very strong, and so we heard them. They were very afraid. The, the soldiers spoke, so we 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 knew it. We we, we knew. It. But what we and then when we uh, when we was prepared and we had the food already uh, in this hall, so when the camp was uh, empty uh, for the evacuation and the three thousand people were angetreten <coughs> to evacuate, so they took hounds, blood hounds, mm-hmm. and they searched for for uh, hiding people. And when they found somebody, they killed him at on the spot. So we saw, uh, we saw it in the neighboring camps. So then we saw it's not all the way. So we were angetreten to march with this death march. Otto was going with me. Uh-huh. Otto was in a very good uh, condition. He had the long hair also, and he helped us very. Uh, good. That was what day? Do you know what day? Eighteen. No, Eighteen. January 1945. Mm-hmm. And where were you going to march? First, we marched three days, two nights and three days. With German guards? With German guards. Very, very, German guards were very cruel. They even did, uh, they had their own cards, and these cards we must uh, pull, and on their cards they had their own baggage, you know, like uh, trunks and so on. Mm-hmm. And they when somebody collapsed, they didn't allow that he, they should be put on this uh, mm-hmm. tracks. And um, uh, 50 or 100 me- meters behind this uh, very this batch, so there were a liquidation commando of five SS men. And when the people m- m- leave back and couldn't go further, so they killed him. Killed him. And. Uh, when we were very, very, uh, sort of not so hungry, we smart, no, we very thirsty, 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 thirsty. And what was the, they allowed the Otto, when she was small, to go n- near the, we were marching near the, you know, through the villages. And there were many uh, uh, people who were there, but they, they were uh, not allowed to come. But um, we were telling to SS1 that this young uh, boy is very thirsty, maybe he can bring us a little water. So we let him go, and he brought us some well, water. Did the people in the villages see you? Yes. Did did they, what did they do? Did yeah, they looked. Over. They just looked and didn't say anything? No, nothing. They said nothing. Anything. These were what? Polish people? Polish, Polish, Polish. Or Polish people. And the SS men, every... 20 meters was an assessment with a rifle, yes, and if somebody 
Was he walking or was he riding? Walking, 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 And uh, when somebody was so, he beat him with with uh, with his rifle, and sh they shoot only when the people already uh, were not able to go. When they were not, mm -hmm. and so the first day, we uh, ma after the march, I can very good imagine we slept in a place, sport place, you know, football place. There was mm -hmm. a. Uh, near Ratibor, a huge football place, but full of snake. It was 20 degree and the, and the Celsius degree and, the, and the zero. Cold, cold, very cold. It was. Snow, snow, snow. So we slept on the on the banks and so. But in the in the morning, I think about three, four hundred people were were uh, dead. dead. The second day we slept in the. Uh, in a farm, on a farm, not a bad farm. And there was noise, you know, the dinger women that take excrements mm -hmm. from the coast and so. And this was a little um, farm, so we, we all slept in the, this, and some slept in the barns. Uh, mm -hmm. oh, thank you. Some slept in, there was straw in the barn, and in the morning, when we should go further, so the assessment came, and they with bayonets, they they, they um, checked if somebody is there and hid in the straw, and, and they killed him. Yes, so it was the and the third night we came to Loslau, Wodzislaw, and in Loslau there were trains. Oh, let's hear that again. Loslau, Wodzislaw, 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 Loslau, Deutsch, Wodzislaw, W O D Z L. I S S L A V. What's this love? Mm -hmm. This was a small station, and there were uh, trucks, about 30, 30 trucks or some train, uh, train, uh, but uh, coal open, mm -hmm. open train. And in these trucks, they uh, they and we got every man got a whole uh, uh, bread. About 300 men, maybe really? one, one kilo. Yes, they they were full of food at the time in in the camps. So what they they gave us one one uh, virtue of margarine. You know about where were they trying to take you? What did they want to do with it? No, they would take it to the West Germany. They they thought they will they will use it as to exchange us for for Germans or for oh. they they had uh, we were. Uh, the Himmler wanted something to give to the Allies uh, that they should, they should, and they promised. So was the inter intermediator. This I know from the later, from the literature. Mm -hmm. He promised that he will stop, and he will destroy, and he will nobody kill at the time. And then he will, if it fulfills his word, so Eisenhower or somebody uh, will will um, consider to 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 negotiate. Mm -hmm. So so was his hope. Yes. So open now they the, put you in the trains. They put in the trains. In open cars. In open cars. So it was. Uh, uh, we, were, we were with auto. We were not alone. Auto, no. Many people were were prepared to escape. Yes, we were in a good mood. We had and and uh, under these uh, strip uniforms, we had and and civil and civil and so, and uh, in these cars. There were 100 to 120 people, could you imagine? It was something uh, awful. But now, this is very interesting, how the people escaped. Look, the, the, the train was 30 trucks, mm -hmm. and in the first trucks were, were assessment in the nice, in the wagons, you know, like person, person in cars, yes? Mm -hmm. Passenger cars. Passenger cars. The, the, this was the... the well, 50 or 60, 80 assessment. And on one of these tracks, they make a platform from planks. Mm -hmm. And on these planks, they give uh, searchlights, very strong searchlights, mm -hmm. and machine gear, you know, machine guns. Mm -hmm. And now, so they overlooked the whole train. As when the train was running, so they, oh, if somebody would jump, so they overlooked the train and they shot. But when there was a curve, you know, so they they couldn't see couldn't see, and so many poles. It was very high in the snow, uh, jumped in the snow, and so many 
it was through the Poland and the Poland, uh, many Polands. Um, so uh, then we make stop and uh, about uh, 500 people were away. So the commandant made change and he, uh, uh, every, uh, in every wagon, he make uh, such uh, uh, planks and in every wagon and assess two assessments, one from this side and this side, while we are watching if somebody is a jump or not. Then we came to Ostrava, you know, Ostrava, uh, Ostrava, uh, in, uh, in Czechoslovakia. The city which I knew very good, it is where star works and the coal mines and so on. Uh, uh, Ostrava. Ostrava, Ostrava, Ostrava. 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 It's not far, it's about 50 kilometers from Auschwitz. And it, it was a city which I knew very good uh, and uh, my relatives were there and so. Uh, in this city, in this city, we stopped. The whole train stopped. The whole train stopped, and it was pulled on the side gliding. Yeah. So, but uh, over, you know, there were this uh, the the over. Uh, it was over with such bridge. The people oh. are going the bridge. Uh, the, the whole uh, there was a huge uh, railway station that people can go, so there was over the yeah. uh, bridge. To and cross so, over the yeah, tracks, yeah. yeah. So the people were very, very anxious who we are and so on and so, and the assessment spread some rumors that there are bombed German people who are evacuated from the bombed areas. So, yes. So this, this spread the, uh, when they were asked from the population, so the, so there were some Germans, very many Germans in Ostrava, and they would help their 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 bombed uh, uh, countrymen. countrymen. So they came to with a gulash cannon, you know, with some coffee and so, and came uh, in white uh, white clothes, uh, winter hill clothes, so, uh, and they came near to to these wagons, and these uh, guards would not allow them to co they, they, before our look give us our our uh, the line of our wagon uh -huh. and here before were the assessment and when the assess when this and here was the tour for, uh -huh. where the german came to 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 give something uh -huh. and when we saw that, that there is coming something to give with a, a um, hot food so we forget about all and we were trying to jump from these wagons and to get some something hot. Right, right. right. Yeah. And uh, this assessment were very afraid, and so they, they had to zusammengezogen the Postenkette uh, to prevent that the Germans. And now I saw that this place when I am from with Otto and this is free. Is nothing here. That the, the assessment came came to this, you see, to uh -huh. this uh, site. And we were already uh, going from the wagon uh, down. We were there, and um, mm. uh, so uh, uh, one assessment saw Otto, uh, and he give give gave him a kick. And uh, there was a woman from this Volkswagen and going, "Schämen Sie sich nicht, so ein kleines Kind zu schlagen? Do do not uh, uh, ashamed such yeah. a." To hit such a little he, boy. He told he told something of uh, let me have mass and his vicar but I saw it was free. So I took Otto with and uh, another and we were running and running it was midnight. Yes. Midnight was the, the dark and we were running. So at one now once now I recognized I have this uh, uh, prisoner's which, uniform. Right? So we uh, it was snow. So we, we, we took, uh, it off. took it off, kept to go off, and we were on the third Then... Otto, they never put a mark on Otto, huh? On what? On Otto. Did they put numbers on Otto? Uh, on Otto? Yes, yes, sure. Oh, they did, huh? Yeah, they did. That is, uh, he did. He was normally... He, is, uh, mm -hmm. he had no... On the 2000. So we come... Uh, then we... It was midnight. So I, I thought over what to do. What I knew a little the terrain, the city. So I was going through 
there was a colony of uh, uh, miners, you know, ma who was in mines in the corn room in miners. So there was a colony there, and I was going to a colony in one. I see in one uh, there was a light in one. It was this is still Poland, huh? No, Ostrava, Czechoslovakia. Oh, you oh you crossed into Czechoslovakia. In the, Czechoslovakia. I see. Uh -huh. This is Czechoslovakia, Ostrava. Uh -huh. This new, this was my country. So I, and in, I, in, this was a small, small uh, flats, you know, this was very poor, poor. Yeah. And I saw in one was uh, light, very light. So I knocked and I came in and an old uh, woman uh, opened the door and so we came further and uh, there were three men, maybe there were their sons, uh, latest I learned, and they were prepared to go to the night shift uh, for uh, coal in coal mine. Yeah. So they asked it, no, but I knew the dialect of Ostrava, and so I said, look, what, what is, what are you, and I told, we are, uh, Oscar, we, we were um, forced to work in Germany as uh, workers, and now they were, they had bombed this area in Oba Silesia, and we, the train is here, and we escaped, and we are afraid to go. So, and my boy is here, and where is your, your wife? So he, my wife, we couldn't get, she, she is very ill, and she was, she left there. What are you talking about, Czech? Czech, Czech, or yeah. Czech. And that, no, where from you are, so I told, I didn't tell them exactly where from what I told in Zashova, Varsky with Richie, they all, and they knew, and Otto, when he was in a good shape, he, he had also his hair and so, so he was um, uh, awakened sympathy of them. Yeah. And so I told them, look, I never will go to Germany and the war will be break, maybe you can help me what I can do and so, how far it is to Varsky with Richie. And I had some money, uh, some marks. So they let me mm, uh, shave, and they mm, a cut. I got a cut. My hair was shaved, and they told me that at four o'clock in the morning is going the train to Valaszka Mezrici. So I was going to the train, and then yeah, they told me that they are waiting that the Germans uh, will uh, are are mm, uh, retreating, right. and they, they are uh, digging now anti-tanks uh, traps. traps and there are all people are uh, mobilized to make anti-tank anti -tank traps uh, only the miners not yes so when i came to this uh, railway station i knew this railway station from further i uh, originally i i thought that i will I will get the help from these miners and I can go work in the mines uh, during this. But um, they didn't, uh, they didn't, uh, he, he told, no, when you are from Zashova, you will find your friends. And so I couldn't tell them the truth. Mm -hmm. So I was going to this, to this station and I s saw here uh, full of pickers, you know, pickers and ships. They were stand there. Uh, when they make dig, dig at these uh, traps, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. they were standing there full. So I took one on, on my shoulder. Shovels and picks? Yeah, shovels and picks, yes. Uh -huh. I, I, I took one pick and then I was going to the... What uh, did you do with Otto? Uh, he was going with me. Uh -huh. uh, the, the whole the time. And I... I was going to and uh, to 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 pick to pick out the to buy the ticket ticket to Valaszka Mezirić. It was about 60 kilometers far from Ostrava. This is the ta uh, city where I uh, where I studied gymnasium, you know, mm -hmm. uh, in this Valaszka. I know the whole Kagan, the whole vicinity. I knew dialects so. all. So I was going to this uh, cashier, you know, and I told him, I please give me two tickets to, and he told me, have you a certificate that you can go, you know, that over 50 kilometers it's not allowed to go, to go without um, permission. 
So I told him, look, there is a boy from my sister, and she's a, he was on a visit here, and she's afraid I will bring him back, and so I will dig there in the vicinity, and so he looked me, and he looked up there, and he gave me this ticket, and we were going. Then I came to this, then I was very afraid what it will happen in the train, yes, if there is some control, no control. So for that, the train was full of these men with this, with this uh, uh, picket, you know, and they were uh, badly uniformed. That, uh, I, I had a very better, better suit than they. Mm -hmm. So I came to, to Valaski Messer. And in Valaske Mezerici, setting is my, my, my ort where I was born. And it's about 18 kilometers, 10 miles from setting, from Valaske Mezerici. So the Baumeister, uh, a man who was a builder, a contractor, and uh, his Zimmerman, he was involved in this uh, transfer the people to the uh, born for which I was arrested, and he was a great uh, customer from our uh, sawmill, yes, he was, uh, we delivered him planks and so, and I was very friendly with him. Oh, he knew you? Yeah, you knew he knew you. him, very good, he knew me, yeah. but I didn't knew if he is not arrested or he is arrested yeah. or not, so what, I, I, take, I was going to the post office, and I phoned, okay. and I phoned to him, and I knew the the uh, slogan, yes, the slogan, uh, smirk, you know, uh, um, the slogan before the war was uh, smirk, it is uh, like pine, uh, yes, mm -hmm. something but in Czech, it is another kind of wood, which is in Czechoslovakia. Mm -hmm. So I, uh, yeah, I am greeting you, Mr. So, have you not, uh, do you not want the manipulant for smirk, for, for pine, pine wood? And he acknowledged me at once with an awkward my voice. Yeah. And he told, where are you? Maybe we can deal with it. So I am so here, I am traveling to, to Valaske Mezrici, but I am traveling to Hranice. Maybe we can meet. And he told me at once, yes, yes, I have the trip there. Maybe we will meet. Wait till six o'clock, I will come there. And he came. He came, he brought all the cards for the, you know, the variation, or all variation. Mm -hmm. He brought us the cards, and we discussed, and he prepared for us a barn, not far from Vsetin, a barn, the, and the, in the barn there was full of straw, and uh, some equipment, cultural equipment. Uh, agriculture. Agriculture equipment, so. And, uh, and he traveled um, away, and he, he told me how I should go uh, alone. And I was in the evening going with Otto, and the barn was already open, and there was pot potatoes and, uh, and uh, um, ca coffee in the thermos. thermos. Mm -hmm. yeah. And there we were two days, and then in two days came this uh, Uran, and he brought a man who was a Zimmerman, you know, a Zimmerman who is making the, the carpenter, a carpenter who was working in his uh, office, and he was living in an area where partisans were. So we were going to six uh, kilometers in the snow on the hill, on, on the two mountains, till this partisan uh, village, and there he was heading us he has a two roof, he has a, such a very style roof, and it has two, uh, two sides, between was, uh, no. the roof is so, yes, and yeah. steep, steep, and he has, this has two sides, between the roof was, uh, near, near, near the attic, uh -huh. and here, here we were sleeping in the attic, and here we were eating, and so, no, and then I told him about this, he brought me about uh, some uh, paper, and I wrote the 140 pages of the death factory that, uh, in, in this, in this uh, attic. And there was some more, uh, the partisan came, and this was this. But 
Then came the, the Russian came on the 2nd of May in, into the deliberate, the and then uh, Kraus later also came back. Then I was sitting for my wife, and I was going to the commission for the identification. I get a message, my wife is in Bergen-Belsen, but then I learned she died um, in Stubhof, where she was deported. But then um, I was in seven camps and I identified some assessment, uh, which I knew from camps. This is a chapter in this, that factory. Or, and then I... Uh, uh, no, yeah, ah, no, but Otto, my sister-in-law, you know, my Olga, my, my wife, she was, uh, she married, uh, she was not Jewish originally. She, uh, with his first marriage, she married, uh, she trans... Uh, converted. Converted with, to a rabbi, which, uh, to Milan Kunka, to the brother of my wife, yes? Mm -hmm. She converted. So she was, then she was not, only the children of her had a, a but um, Identification. Identification. That, triangle. That, triangle. But she not, but they, the children were in the last moment in a very great danger, they should go to Theresienstadt. And there was a doctor who, um, in the last, in March 45, who managed, who, uh, declared that they are typhus verdächtig, typhus, yes, mm -hmm. and so they, they, they postponed their transportation to Theresienstadt. And this I forgot to tell you. When I was in Neuengamme with my brother-in-law uh, with Milan, Kunka, mm -hmm. so uh, this uh, wife Olga awaited uh, uh, daughter, but uh, he was already arrested. So she wrote him uh, that uh, she was advised not to to make a, mm, no but to, to abort abortion. Mm -hmm. But this she cannot decide. She cannot decide for an abortion. So that uh, the people tell her she make uh, uh, the child should be uh, Christian. Yes. It mm -hmm. should be uh, baptized. It should be gerated, safe. So uh, he, he wrote her that she, he doesn't wish it. She should be as a Jewess. She, uh, she should be as a Jewess um, uh, educated. So Olga didn't uh, Christian her. She was without any, you know, as atheist, gemeldet, uh, mm -hmm. you know. And uh, then later, when I, and uh, when he died, so he asked me to, that his last words were that I should, if I survive, take care of his family. And then I told it to Leah, to, to my daughter, to this girl later, when she was 14. And so she, de she decided to be Jewish, and when it came to go to Israel, so she, she and now she's educating his, this boy only uh, Jewish and she's very devoted to this last wish of her father. So she lives where? In Israel, yes, in Israel. Now, you come back to your town with Otto? Yes, then I come back to my, to Otto, all the, come back. And all you see is just your sister-in-law, that's all that's there? No, my but brother. she marry somebody else? Oh, she didn't marry nobody. She was a widow. Oh, my sister-in-law. She stayed a widow. She stayed a widow, and this child was my nephew and my my nep and nephew. Yes, niece, niece and nephew. The girl. Yeah, yes. The nephew is a boy, and niece and is a girl. The nephew is a sculptor, and the the, the niece is a, an engineer. And so I uh, and the brother, my brother came also, back, the Albert, and. Then Otto Kraus came also from another camp. Yes, see, other he was in our group and so on. Well, I'm a little confused. Milan Kulka was a rabbi. No, Milan Kulka was a, he was a, he was an owner, meat owner of this factory. Of, oh, uh, but I thought you, uh, a moment ago you said something about the rabbi. No. 
She married a rabbi or she's really no, married? No, no. She, she converted. She converted by Rabbi Sikhar. Oh, she converted by Rabbi By Rabbi Sikhar. Con- oh. Before she married her, oh, I so see. she converted I and see. set in Rabbi Sikhar. Oh. He made con- the conversion. Okay. Uh-huh, yeah. But when the German came, the conversion was uh, avoided. Now, how many children sh- did she have with? Two. The, two. A boy and a girl. Yes, a boy and a girl. And then when we married, so we had a boy, um, Thomas, in 48, yes? So the, she was... Wait a minute, wait a minute, let me get this straight. When did you change your name? 46. 46. Mm. In 46, you decided that you wanted to remember your wife? When I, when I, when I learned, my wife is not, uh, didn't uh, leave, and then this, there was a pressure to take away these German names, yes? So I... Uh, my brother uh, uh, translated his name in, uh, from Schön to Schumni, which means the same. And I decided with Otto that we will take the name of my wife and his mother. As uh, the name Kunka is a Jewish name, but it's also a Czech name, yes? It sounds Czech. Kunka, it means a kugel. A kugel. A kugel. A regular kugel. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But it was during the Hussite times, I was going back to make search, and when the Hussite, um, during the Hussite, uh, you know, the Hussite and Zizka, this you mean this, this uprising, Hus and Wycliffe and this all. Mm-hmm. So at that time they were cooperating with Jews, and many Jews were, were fighting with, with, with on the side of Hussites. Hussites. Yeah. And so, and they got named Kulka. It is a uh, 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 Google. Us, H-U-S-S, we call it, yeah. Yes. Uh-huh. K-U-L-K-A, yes? No. Yeah, no, us, H-U-S-S. You say who sides? Who oh, sides, yes, who yeah. sides. You know what is who sides. Yeah. John Hus, he was yeah. burned with big... Uh, yeah. uh, so, big so she, they were, uh, with Israel, they were, they were, um, uh, they were, uh, the Old Testament was her mission, of Boji Bojovnici, the fighters, the, uh, the... Yeah, you want to take a drink? You're going to... Go ahead, take your time. Take your time. No, and, and so in that time, uh, the name Kulka was a Jewish name and a Czech name. And from that 14th century uh, originate the name Kulka which is uh, com- uh, common in Czechoslovakia. Mm-hmm. So I took the name Kulka, so, and um, I had some, he might some uh, uh, this or this, but then I saw uh, she was so uh, devoted to, to, to the family. She, de- uh, Ooh, uh, Olga, Olga, the, my wife. She was so... Well, oh, that's Milan's wife? Yeah, Milan's wife. Well, you married Milan's wife. I married Milan's wife. Oh, my the, sister your sister-in-law. Law. Uh-huh. Sister-in-law. Now I get it. And she was the... Or the when I when I make the balance, whom I should... Uh, it was the only rest of her family. And Milan uh, died in my hands, yes? Mm-hmm. And his last word were, uh, look, uh, take care of my family if you will, if you mm-hmm. will survive. And he, in such situation, he, he wrote a letter, now I wish that my daughter should be Jewish, in, yes, mm-hmm. also in such situation. So when I uh, wait all these bonds and this and this, so I say that this is the only way I should, I should proceed my, my family life. Uh, and uh, how did you get married? By rabbi? No, this was in Czechoslovakia, at the time it was not, no rabbi. Uh-huh. And it was uh, already in 48, we, re- we married in 48. Oh, you got married in 48? Yes. I see. Now, so you have a son, Otto. Otto. By your wife. Yeah, Eric, And you married all... That, what? Eric, with Eric Kulka. With my yeah. first one was the name Now Eric. you marry Olga. Olga. And you have two children? One. One. Boy. And Olga has two children, which is my oh, nephew. She had two children? Yes. When you one have one, and then you have one between the two of you. Yes. You so have a daughter. A daughter, yes. yes. So it's a whole whole story. So you have a son with Ali. Son with Ali. A daughter with Olga. No. 
A son with Olga. Son with Olga and a son with Ellie. And Olga had a son, son with Ellie. Milan and a daughter which doesn't know her father. He, when he was arrested, so she wasn't born. In, she was, she was, Leah was born in uh, in May, and she died in in May 41, he in, um, and he died in September 40. Yeah. Now, she was born after he died. Oh. All right. Now, uh, what was my question? Mm -hmm. uh, do all the children live in uh, in Israel? Yes, all the children live in Israel. All the all, lives there. All they are very, 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 very nice, and they, they don't uh, know no difference in yeah, Israel. Of course not. And no. They all are living in Israel. They no, look, and where? All are living in Israel. All. Yeah. Now, what about Olga's family? Olga has a sister in uh, in, in Czechoslovakia. Uh -huh. What is the half sister? You know, the, the, yes. the half sister. The mother was. But Olga is the only one that's Jewish. Yes. Yes, all this one, all you want to And all she got is just one half sister. Yes. No other brothers or sisters, no, no, nobody. No, nobody. No, no, no. Uh -huh. So I took the whole family, you see, for when I was in Vienna at the Wiesenthal, and so so I I was there to, to when I pulled out all my family from Czechoslovakia. It was not so easy, but it was a chaos, ten months. Yes. Well let's go back now. So in 1946, you come back to Czechoslovakia. 1945. 45. What do you do to live? What do I do to live? First, I get every man who got the back, the back in 1,000, 3,000 uh, 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 money, something. But then I came back first to Olga. You no, know, there was the family, there was the factory, she uh, she was thrown out from her house, you know, from the house which it was a great house, a factory mm -hmm. was uh, given to Germans. But when I came, it was two months or three months after the Russian came, so she already moved uh, back to the house, and I asked for restitution of this factory. It was a family uh, enterprise, yes. Mm -hmm. of my wife, of my uncle, and so. And, but we were the only heirs, I and uh, Olga, three. Olga, after her husband, and Otto, Dov, uh, after her mother, and my, after my uncle. So, after very fight, we got back this, this factory. And I ran this factory for three years. Yes, mm -hmm. this factory. Yeah, this is now the, you're a capitalist. No, I was not a capitalist. Yeah, I was only uh, an appointment from a Gericht, from a trial. Yeah. It, it was not yet, the heritage was not yet clear. No, but right right now you're an owner of a factory and you have employees. So, employees. Yes. So, I had employees. Then I, I <coughs> developed first art. Ah, when Kraus came from the from the so, so I told him, look, we must go back to Auschwitz. I, I began to write the book, and we should go back to Auschwitz, and we should uh, finish the book. Uh, Kraus told, look, what we should ever in man is, uh, we should be happy, we are, we, we are uh, living, and so on. I told him, look, I, I want to, this will be my account with my past, and I will not enter in, uh, any uh, uh, job before I didn't finish this. And uh, so he agreed, and we were going in June to back to Auschwitz. June of what? 45. Right away you went back? Yes, 45 of, of July, yes. Back to, to, to Auschwitz. Like quick. Quick, yes, this was possible, it was free. Yeah, but that's uh, idea, yeah. okay, go yeah. ahead. And we did get out these documents. We, we dig it oh, in, uh, oh. you see, this we would. And there were many other things which were digged out. And the Polish uh, museum and so much documents. And we gave, it, when we came, we were known, and they told us we are preparing a process against us and against this 40 assessment which were caught in Poland. So we will that you should go to trial. And you, we will, 
ask you to give these documents to or the, uh, we must give the allowance yeah, yeah. to so we gave these documents to the trial to in the, the tribunal narodowy w Krakowie yes but we made photocopies of it and then we was By the way, you went back. Yeah, 35 of, of July. Yes, back to 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 Auschwitz. Very quick, quick. Yes, this was possible. It was free. Yeah, but that's uh, right here. Okay, go yeah. ahead. And we did get out these documents. We we did get oh, in. Oh, you oh. see, this we would. And there were many other things which were to get out, and the Polish uh, museum and so much documents. And we gave, it, when we came, we were known, and they told us we are preparing a process against us and against these 40 assessment which were caught in Poland. So we will that you should go to trial. And you, we will ask you to give these documents to, uh, uh, we must get allowance yeah, yeah. to. So we gave these documents to the trial, to in the, the Tribunal Narodowy w Krakowie. Yes, but we made photocopies of it, and then we was. Hmm. Trial was in Warsaw. Right. Uh, can you tell me about the trial? No. Look, that right, for the first trial there was 40 SS men and SS women, and we knew all. So we told who oh, the Naro was called on that one too. Doc Otto. Otto. Yes, your, yes. Your son Otto. was called yes. on both of them. Yes, yes. About the family income, he was called. He witnessed it. Mm -hmm. yes. And uh, then the second trial. When you, the, when you came into uh, so the first trial was where? In, In Warsaw, Krakow. 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 Where did they put you up? Into a hotel? Yes, or into a hotel. Who paid for it? The, the, the Polish the government. Polish government. And the the second time, who tried them? The Polish, Polish government tried them? Tribunal Narodowy. Polish Only the Polish government. Polish government. Oh. The second trial... How many days did it take? One week. And how many days were you there? One week. No, the trial took longer. We were one week. You there. were there one week. Nearly all became the death sentence. Mm -hmm. And the second trial a year later, only against Hess. But at that time, that time Hess was a Nuremberg trial, and he was extradited later to Poland. Mm -hmm. And then we we witnessed it against Hess, not Otto, then I, myself, Miller, and Kraus, and Rosin witnessed it against Hess. Uh, now, how could you give testimony against Hess? So I told I uh, first uh, you told me before you saw him. Yes, no. He had no expression on his face, but you didn't what, see much yes, of him, did what, you? No. But he told us what happened when his was there. Uh huh. Uh, how it was built and so and so and oh. so. No, I didn't smoke. But only they would know from witnesses what was under his command and uh, that he was actually there. There. When he so you can't say yes. that he wasn't there. No. He saw. He saw. He, he saw. saw. He saw. He, and we saw him also. Uh -huh. That was told. Did they try to confuse you and tell no. you you're looking at the wrong man or something? No, no, no. Then we were, the one of us was a Dr. Cesh Piva. Uh, he was not a Jew and he also was a very good man, a, a doctor of medicine. And he was very good with the police. So we took the hess, we asked the Polish, uh, Polish um, guards, you know, in the, in the yard guards in, in this, uh, they should, uh, we will speak privately with Hess. He was not allowed, but they took him out. And the Czech Pivot asked him, no, how do you feel? No. So, 
you know what what you you want this this will be your end yes you will mean you ran his hand and, across yes. his throat huh? and he t- he told i remember it einmal ist man unten einmal ist man oben so ist das leben once once you're underneath and yes. then you're on top and that's the yes. life so so was ist das who said that Hess? Hess, yes yes and that's all he had to that's say so, but no expression on his face? No, no expression. Still no expression. No, but he may in the in the in the in, uh, in the in prison he made a very uh, uh, you know the statement. Yes, I have it. So but memoirs, you yes, know. Yes, but he is uh, this was the fault of Vogue, very great fault, as Vogue didn't recognize that the Hess is very raffinate, you know, it was very clever. And he tried to to go this uh, guilty of killing people more to Jewish side than to the SS side. He took I for year, hours I saw uh, looked how the Jews are trying this um, the Zonder Commando are pulling out these uh, people and to the gas and uh, also once I knew that his own. Uh, wife and mother, and without any expression or on without any attempt to revolt and so yes, and that they were very uh, very poslušni, uh, gehorsam, uh, gehorsam. You know that they uh, kept all the orders of assessment. They never revolted and so so. And he told there was uh, such a small group of assessment which guarded them and so and um, uh, he some kurz so good er hat it is uh, written with the that it should be seen that the, the Jews had no uh, no um, desire to life or to, to, to live. resist to live or yeah. to resist this is the whole his uh, this uh, his uh, intention to input this uh, this uh, picture about Jews, and he uh, he uh, the book uh, overestimated it also in a very bad manner in his chapters. He make a fiction of it. Uh, oh, Herman Wolf book. Yes, he told, for instance, that the Jews were going with this. Uh, people who were in the gas chambers and they told him to till the last moment they were a company it's cool do you you will get got a coffee and they were going till the gas chamber it's not true I don't know where he got it and I told him but there are many many such places which, uh-huh. which I correct what did they do with Otto what did they ask Otto, Otto? Otto? your son yes they asked him very exactly about the family lager uh, how was the life in family lager? Uh, how they were educated? Uh, what uh, Mengele was doing? What the lager Führer? Oh, he knew. He, uh, how would he know what Mengele was doing? No, Mengele was visiting. Mengele was making a selection in the family lager. Twice. Oh, so he saw him. He saw him. Not only Mengele. He saw also the other Lukas. Uh-huh. He was also on the great trial in Auschwitz. In Auschwitz trial in Frankfurt, Otto was there. Yes, oh, a little boy. No, that the time he was 16. No, he was not. He was called from Israel at 65. He came from Israel to, to oh, Frankfurt. Oh. Yes, he, me, he he remembers much more. I I can only let you know that he remembers much more these details than I about this camp, the life in the camp. Fantastic how he remembers every everything. All right, now now you go back in 1948. Then he becomes communist. No, I didn't become never communist. No, 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 no. The country. Ah, mom, mom. All right, still. I was in Palestine. This is an interesting thing for you, maybe. I became as an expert for wood and so and so. Ah. Then we wrote this book with Kraus yes, and right. Schluss, and I told now we will go. And we were confused about this book. Is it a good book or not good book? 
we were convinced that this the book is not 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 much ever he was there and he was convinced. but we had a very good friend and a, a Czech writer and the dramaturg Burian F. Burian a very known man and he was with us in the camp Dachau and later in Sachsenhausen and he was very progressive as a communist and we gave him this book and he told he made the first uh, a, a very good uh, preface and he told us, look boys you wrote a very very good book you wrote a book as a statement uh, without mentioning your own pains you described the 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 auschwitz like a guides how it was run and so and this is the right way now till after 30 years it will be the right time to write a, it as a grasp something uh, uh, you know as a romance as something but now it is too early that's the only way you make it uh, mm -hmm. tell it factually factually as a statement mm -hmm. So, in, in this book is a very great value, and he, he recommended us some, some, some publisher, and this book appeared in Czechoslovakia 21 times, and is translated in nine languages. Also in Russian. This I must tell you also. The Russians didn't ask you if they could translate it or not. No. But when we, we, it was translated, so... Uh, we was not a master of translation. There is a Czechoslovak uh, Delia agency, and you must give him the, the right, and so they, they are dealing with you, and you get only Czech money. And when the Russian translation comes, so we get got every one uh, copy. And later, I uh, uh, we, we, go, we go over, and that they didn't translate it all, or something they add. For instance, when the Czech camp was liquidated, you know, as I told you, so we, we made the sentence that they died fighting and proudly. This sentence they didn't uh, translate, the Russians. Mm -hmm. And the English translation was, you must have an admittance from Czechoslovakia and so on. And I was then I was witnessing in this trans in this great uh, great uh, trial in uh, Frankfurt, and I was uh, presenting these old pictures as I showed in this album, uh -huh. and this was a very great sensational. And there was a publisher from uh, from London, Maxwell. I think he's of Jewish um, origin, and he asked me if um, uh, he is interested to publish the book under one condition. If I will add a chapter about the um, after Auschwitz after 20 years. Yes, how I meet the the uh, the trial, my trial. As a, I, so I make this chapter then after the, uh, the, after 20 years. How the assessment behaved. And he translated the book as a, very, for a studying purposes. Uh, mm -hmm. It is a, a book uh, which is not that uh, which is not influenced by other uh, later literature. It's only the fact, as you saw it at that time, that it was in Auschwitz. I didn't knew about final solution, about I. Eichmann or Heidrich or something like that, you know, these plans. No, we saw it like an outburst of a, of a sadistic uh, uh, hatred and this humanity and so, yes, of a, anti uh, uh, of a um, climax of anti-Semitism. We did knew about this, we, uh, yeah, this uh, I learned later by the trials, when I, by, by the trials, then I, later. No, now I will let you know this. This. Uh, so I was. Uh, I wrote a book. Then I came to this factory, and I began to to make export. Yes, to make uh -huh. export. So somebody came from Israel and he asked me that uh, he will uh, consult Glasgow. I was not trained in the export, but we have this factory, 
and he asked me I should help him organize the, the, the route and so on. And I learned this in a very short time, and the next time I make uh, it myself, uh, uh, on my own hand. And then I exported uh, to Israel, you know, for the citrus cases, this very thing. What month? Uh, this was in 47. It's not Israel yet? No. No, no. It, in 47, I, I got this, this work in 46. In oh. 46, they, they, I... I I got back this, not as an owner, as a, a Verwalter, you know, as a manager, as a yeah. in, in... But you're doing business with Jews? With, I've, with a, Egyptians. Oh, oh, you're doing business with people in Palestine? In Palestine. Not in Israel? No, no, in Palestine, yes. Uh -huh. So I'm doing people in Egypt, in Palestine, and we were exporting the many um, uh, you know, when the orange cases are so thin, they pack yeah. it, so the, we, we make this, uh, these planks. Real thin. Thin, yes. Yeah. And uh, it was a very great, uh, very great uh, business. We call them crates here, crates. Orange, orange crates. Orange crates. But no, not, uh, not assembled, only this... Uh, no, the wood. The wood. Yes. And they put it together yes, there. The wood. Uh, no, and... Uh, I was not so very, you know, very uh, shrewd in this uh, business, so I, I, I bought it uh, F Obey, free on board, you know, free on board, and they should uh, give the ship on their ship. Then it came to Holland, but how I get when I have uh, Holland? That was, it was via Holland, uh, Rotterdam. Oh, you had to send it up there to take it all by ship all the way down? From Holland to Haifa, from oh. Prague, you know, from Prague by train to Holland, and from the oh. Holland the ship to Haifa. This was the way, otherwise it was not possible. And uh, I, um, I, mm -hmm. for free on board, F uh, FOB, you know, it means that the ship they should give their ship. And I, when I loaded this uh, uh, on the truck, so I became half, a little uh, half of this price, and the rest I should get when it is on the ship. But at that time, the, the, the prices were, were so and so, it's always fluctuating. Yeah, fluctuating. And, and when, the tra when the shipment came to Holland, so they postponed to send the ship and uh, the sh in the meantime, the accredited was running out, and they told, we are very, uh, very sorry, but uh, the ship was broken, and now we can give you only two pounds less uh, yeah, for, for this. And so I, I had not the ship, they should give the ship, but I, it was not my, cho my choice. But um, I was thinking over, uh, I had a friend who was a local and he told me, look, you are in a fantastic situation. You have the half the money and you have the, the stuff, the stuff is yours. And, uh, so let them know, you will, you will sell it uh, on the, uh, you know, for Steigen. On the, on the open market? On the open market or on, on their own, on, on account, when they... Give them the termin, in one week they should uh, take the ship, otherwise you will otherwise sell it. Otherwise you're going to you, sell it. Sell it and you have the seven pounds and it is 13. So so I t let them know and they were advanced. I should come to, to, to Jerusalem and we will... We will uh, to Jerusalem or Haifa? No, the, in Jerusalem. It was Jerusalem. The Erlen Bank, Erlen Bank, Jerusalem it was. And there was a friend and for a porcelain uh, a consul, and, uh, the visa was very hard to obtain. I must bring a, a porcelain set, you know, Karl, Karl, Karlsbad porcelain, I promised. And for this Karls, uh, Karlsbad the porcelain set, you know, it is a set, the whole mm -hmm. service. Mm -hmm. I got, porcelain. I got the, the, the visa to mandatory Palestine. And when I came there, so we handled. And these people were German. This was what year? 47? It was 48 in January. January 48. Be yes. I remember, begin 
yes, I'm not beginning. In, yes, Otto was born, Otto was very small, yes, in the beginning. And I was there, coming there, and the people were very shrewd, and there were German uh, Jews. Uh, you said Otto was born, Otto was, no, you don't mean Otto, you mean somebody else. No, Thomas, Thomas. Thomas, but you just said Otto. No, no it's been Thomas was born. Sure, yeah. not Thomas. Sure, because Otto was now no, no. a Svenaboyczyk. Yes, so, but if she was uh, a young man, uh, already, she was at that time in, he, he, he was at that time in Switzerland, he had, uh, and uh, he became Zionist in Switzerland, you know, he was a little sick with uh, with uh, lung uh, oh. from the camp, and she was on a joint, uh, um, joint uh, vacation, and he became Zionist there in the uh -huh. Switzerland. So, it, so, so that's Thomas now. No, no, about. Thomas uh -huh. is later. Uh -huh. Thomas is later. Thomas is 48. Yeah. 47 I married and 48 was Thomas. No, the, then the people told me the Erland Bank, they were very, uh, how you, uh, we will give you, I don't know how many. Uh, and I told him, no, I will not, will not give you. Uh, and he told me, you are a breaker, you misused, you will make, a, uh, uh, you misused our, our trusty and you will make, a, you know, versteigen, you will just versteigen. And it's it. But I told them this, look, I know the, how it is the German precise. We are in Reichsdeutsche Jugend, we are in precise. Und solche dreckige Geschäfte, wie sie uns machen. Ich habe gesagt, ich kenne die, die, die Deutsche präzis, wie sie präzis getötet haben. In den Gaskammer, das kenne ich sehr gut. But I didn't give up. Mm -hmm. I didn't give up. I told, I don't like, the firm was very not, not, they were not, they were erpressers, you know. They, they were, uh, they make such geschäfte that they sie herein klingen. Were these Goyim? Were they Jews? Were they? Were this, no, Jews. German Jews. German Jews. German Jews. But they were known as a very uh, shrewd people, yes? Jekes, huh? Jekes. Uh, Ausnitzen. Sehr Ausnitzen. Yes? Uh -huh. But um, I had uh, the, their um, uh, a friend and they told me, look, Send this uh, stuff here, and uh, you can you can come here, and we will uh, sell it upon there. The bank is bank is very rich. Sell it upon and send it here, and we will begin a uh, uh, geschäft with with uh, uh, a business a business with this and this. And my brother-in-law was there already before the war mm -hmm. the sister of Ellie you know which uh, the, mm -hmm. he became on a certificate this is the nephew who is in the Ganya, as I told you this is the mm -hmm. Ganya, um, kibbutz they uh, moved from Czechoslovakia in 39 on a capitalistic certificate uh, with thousand pounds he was a Zionist he got a certificate and he was there and they give me the, the and then so I told good I will tell uh, I will do it but I will bring them my whole family it's not sense that I'm only here and they and then I I would um, you know I in the geschäft I began verschiedene krumme Sachen it was very very uh, I would say something that I I'm not going with a mit einem nackten Arsch, wie man sagt. Hat er uh, no? Dass ich nicht komme ohne allen. The, the fabric was very, very uh, high. I exported. I had money back and so. And, and now I was the only uh, who, who has uh, possible to sign from the Gericht and so. So I told, I will, I will, come back. At once I heard in the radio it was on the 22nd of January that in Czechoslovakia is uh, preparing a revolt. Yes, they were preparing this communist uh, Ustorts. So I was, should I go, not go? The family is there. 
I had a good uh, reputation as I was an anti-fascistic fighter and so so I decided to go. So I decided to go and I came to Italy and there in Italy the, the, we were about 20, there was a small, small airplane and uh, in Italy there was already Il drama Czechoslovako, Hitler resistera Benesh, ne, Gottwald resistera Benesh, there are flood of, of, uh, of blood in Czechoslovakia and the people wouldn't return. So we were waiting three days in, in Italy and I show the first time this, uh, this uh, Rome and so on. And then 16 we returned at four leave there. And when I returned to Prague, so I saw it is an, an uprising, Umstut. And when I came to the Rosenkov, to the uh, factory, so they always, Kulka fly it with the money, he is a capitalist, he, he uh, er had Oscar out, uh, you know, this, uh, 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 and, uh, and I came there in the morning, and now they thought they saw uh, there was 122 people in this in this factory and so i told look i saw um, i heard about all this all this what it happened and i have uh, unterbrochen i have uh, i abrupted all this and i came and i saved for our country 700 pounds or something like that, only that our factory is running away. So they looked upon me and they, they, then they, they, they make uh, uh, very excellent. And at that moment, and I told them, I am an old anti-fascistic fighter, I know what is my duty and, and so, and we will export and so, and they, counted me as a Narodny Spravce, you know, as a national, even if I was a capitalist, but I was not an owner, and at that time, the, the, all this, this um, were uh, transferred to the Communist Party, and Communist Party make somebody as an, not an Arizator, a Troyhander, you know. And, and when, when I came back with this, uh, with this recommendation and I didn't uh, give up, so the, the, uh, oh, they, have, um, they uh, approved me to be, to be a verwalter, to be a manager, a state manager. So I was one year a state manager of this enterprise. And in the meantime, I could manage all these krumme Sachen, was war, to manage it. And then, uh, I, uh, as I, I knew this, uh, some language, and I knew the export, the very few people knew it. So they brought, they asked me if I could come to Prague and uh, man be manager of a department of wood in the Ministry of Foreign Trade. And so I left Rosenkov and I was going to Prague. With your family? With my fam uh, my, after three months I got a flat in Prague, so my family uh -huh. moved also. But in the meantime, Dov, Otto and Albert, I saw the situation very clear. I managed that they should go to Palestine and I prepared all of them and they left in uh, February 1949 Czechoslovakia as Alianoir, you know what is Alianoir, sure. to Palestine and Otto moved to a kibbutz, Le kibbutz Kfar Hamakabi, where he lived about se seven years and <coughs> my brother Albert he um, uh, um, finished his school for an uh, engineer of uh, um, uh, to build roads. You know, he's at, uh, at uh, Soler Bonnech, he's there for uh -huh. 30 years occupied. And then I would go also. I prepared this, what I 
still knew this and this. And Thomas uh, was at that time three months old. Thomas. So I, uh, it was not so urgent. That was uh, they told. Yes, to Pal the Czechs were friendly at that time to Palestine, you know, and the, and the Russians also. They gave them weapons also in this time. Mm -hmm. So I thought, no, in three months, in four months, we will go. And I made preparation uh, also that I have, I must mask it, that uh, the, uh, I sent uh, um, to prolong this um, accreditives and you know yeah, how it is in the business. What the great thing was that I was appointed as a, as a state manager of this. And then they brought me to Prague and they, 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 they asked uh, to go to America. They wanted, they had, it was at the time when the Marshall Plan was cancelled from, uh, you know, the Russian cancelled the Marshall Plan for Czechoslovakia. Maybe you know this story. Mm -hmm. And they were a great lack of, the, of uh, French currency, especially of dollars. So there was a Jewish minister, deputy minister, Evgen Lebel, and he made such a, uh, it was called an offensive, a dollar offensive. He would, uh, he would have some dollars. And the Americans would not let in the communist, um, uh, communist people from the com So he arranged a, a instant and a huge uh, exposition in Boston, in Boston, in Boston, and we were as uh, we were as a delegates for this exposition. From every company, were one or two. This. Uh, a company for wood and a company for the barcel, a company for, for uh, textile and so. And we co came in this uh, capacity, we came here and so I came also at that time we had an, an Empire State building in, in, in uh, New York, it was Mr. Samuels, he was a Hungarian Jew and he uh, was interested in uh, buying assembled bentwood chairs, you know, donut factory, assembled. And uh, we would uh, enlarge the market here and here's, here a friend, also a Hungarian Jew, who had a factory also for such thing, but he made it from maple, and maple is not so good as beach, book, buche, you know. Mm -hmm. And so I was there and uh, we, about one week I was here and so and uh, we make some some deals and uh, I was successful but when I came back to Czechoslovakia but then I thought you will be successful so they will trust you and you could prepare the the uh, to uh, much better you could prepare to go to Palestine maybe you arrive uh, all guy and the auto they came they can go for a trip and you will meet them and Olga and Thomas and Thomas and you will meet them in Vienna or some something like that this I was planning but when I was coming back it was in 49 uh, in uh, December December from this trip I was in London and then was arrested, the first was arrested, um, labor. And then began this old trials. And then was make a stop for every, every um, traveling abroad. And one month after, after labor was arrested, who arranged all this, uh, all this, uh, this uh, exposition in Boston, in this, this uh, this installation of uh, to make connections, so uh, the all Jews were uh, were fired, and one day I was asked to come to the Ligna directory to this boss of of the uh, party, and he told me, "Look, Mr. Kulka, you have your son in Israel." you are undertaking with him Zionistic relations and you cannot work here. And it, they fired me.
1949. I started, 1949. started with the Zionists. Yes, 1949. And I was, I was very upset and so and so, but uh, the people told me, and they told me, look, now we can give you a recommendation, you can find your, 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 we are honoring that you are in Auschwitz, this and this and this, but you have a record. I told them, look, that's a boy of 16 years, I, I didn't, uh, I told you that I am uh, writing with him. No, you don't know what the, the Zionists are for a very dangerous people and so and so forth. Good, so good. They fired me and I have no the possibility to get any place that I have an access to the information uh, m more of a district of, a, you know, I, I, I could have, I, it was not allowed to cover any place where I had some access to information of a state, um, uh, Uh, more information on a higher level, yes, right. only on a district level. So, mm -hmm. so I was on a very low level, and I, and, well, and the the the, the um, I the was stopped the uh, no emigration to Palestine was stopped was stopped, and I couldn't get and. Uh, any allowance I was then I was uh, I could um, travel or my wife or my children later but no n never together I was twice in Israel as a tourist once my wife my sponsor but never together always we were uh, so they could keep one back as yes. yes only when the Russian came now you know what uh, just a moment ago you said that Olga and Thomas should come to uh, Palestine, yes. to Israel. Yes. But what about her two children? With her, ch with their children, they could go to. They, uh, they were at that time. But then Olga had to come out with three children. Yes. They could. At that time, she had also a brother. He, she, he uh -huh. died, and he helped educated the children, and he also was anti-communist. And he, there were, at that time, there were some to Budapest, they make some traveling, you know, there, there were uh, group rides to Budapest, to Wien, and from Budapest there were possibility to come to Yugoslavia. And many, many people uh, uh, took this way, via Budapest, Yugoslavia came to, to Israel. And so I was trying, I was uh, thinking that I will also uh, go this way, but then when this when I came back, so I was I was arrested for six weeks and interrogated about this my uh, how I was involved in this in this um, labor and Slansky uh, offensive for dollars. They suspected that we wa were. Uh, ordered to make in the um, United States some contacts for uh, the Zionists uh, and to make, uh, to prefer Zionists, to give them, to solve them uh, the stuff for much uh, cheaper, cheaper prices than they were on the, on the market and for the differences should be as a fund for Zionists to help uh, right. Such creations, uh, yeah. nothing. No, and since that time, I couldn't. Uh, I decided to to what what remained for me free in that time. I had already uh, around two books, and I was delegated to many trials in in uh, it's uh, to many trials for this. And they, I was free to write anti-fascistic books against these Germans and so. But I, it was not allowed to much stress the Jewish to certain level, not too much, the Jewish uh, aspects, yes? 
But nevertheless, the book had very good reviews, and some of them were also translated, and uh, they were also good paid. So I, I had two occupations. First, I had a, uh, as an expert, but on a lower, lower, uh, in a, it was a Genossenschaft, I don't know, Drustlo, not a state, uh, the state uh, communal, you know, on the lower, I, no access to any information which I, I uh, would Classified not, information you classified couldn't, have. couldn't have. But this access to this uh, archives I had, and this I could, and and so I sent uh, materials in that time to Yad Vashem through the Shagri At that time there was, uh, so, uh, uh, till 67, there was uh, uh, Israeli uh, embassy in Prague, yes, right. they have shaken, so. So I sent much material uh, to my son and so and so on. And there were some difficulties and so on, but nevertheless, I saw. I said, How did you get out of Czechoslovakia? How I get out? Yes. Uh, yeah, now. Yes. So, when the... I was two times in Israel in that time. Uh -huh. I was invited also for the trial to Eichmann. They would let, no, let me not go to Eichmann. And I was allowed, all was already ready. I was asked to be a witness. And then they told me, ah, you are also the member of the anti-fascistic committee, you should also have their, their uh, allowance. Oh, but it is only a formality. But when I came there, so they told the same as Ligna, ah, Kulka has a son in Israel, he's keeping in anti the anti-Semitic relation. It was in 60 already. Mm -hmm. uh, we cannot uh, agree. So they cancelled. So I make a uh, recourse and so I fight it to the president, I wrote the letters and so I, I don't know what after. And that, then I wrote a letter to the Ministry of Interior and I told, told him, please let me know either uh, what, I am, uh, what I am wrong for him or I cannot live in, in such a country which doesn't allow me to, to, uh, to go to the trial for to an anti-fascistic criminal like Eichmann, to this German criminal. I never get from in Asa, but in six weeks I got a passport, and I could go to Israel. It was in 60, say 61, the first time. Mm -hmm. And at that time it was broken for me. So I was in Palestine, two t in Israel at that time, two or three times, and then when this moved, um, uh, movement Dubček came, it was in 67, 68, so we started a very intensive activity on the Jewish community. There were about 500 young people, and they were interested in, in Jewishness, but it was not allowed to, to give them any information and so. But at that time it was free, so we made, not, not on the religious basis, but to uh, how is Israel, how is, the, it was a great sympathy for Israel was at the time. And we educated these people, also Thomas, he was 15 at the time, he came the first time in America, he was invited in a, in a group, the, how the people are educated, he came back and he, he witnessed how it is, how the people are, are and so he, become, he became also a Zionist. He was invited to the United States, uh, Peter Lawrence, and I don't know how the people from GLA, Mas Ma Maslow, American Committee, and so on. All differences. I have this. And Lawrence? Lawrence. Gunter Lawrence, Lawrence, Massachusetts? La no, Gunter Lawrence, Riverside Drive in New York. Oh, 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 I see. I thought you meant the town of Lawrence. No, no, no. Uh -huh. No. And then I was invited, I was in, uh, in this board for education of Jewish people, and the second, I was in anti-fascistic committee, and we thought tra this. <coughs> um, then was there the rehabilitation of the Slansky process and so, and you, you know that there were sentences to death certain Jewish people, and one, and they were certain Jews, only Jews. It was against Jews, all. And so we told. If we should fight against the Nazis, 
and uh, so the, there was a commission anti-fascistic for the crime prosecution of Nazi criminals. So we should make a commission also for prosecution if we would have a legitimation to uh, to, to persecute the Nazi uh, criminals. So we must also have the right to persecute the criminals which make uh, the Czech criminals, which make this landscape these people, innocent people, uh, executed. So, and this movement was very strong, also under the soldiers. That the soldiers, the Jew Jewish soldiers, were not allowed to have an organization, especially who was in the West. And at that time, it broke, and they had a meeting, a very good meeting, and where I was also in the committee, and we put this committee in life, and the committee was at that time uh, accepted, and we began to work, yes, and you can imagine when the Russian came, so what would, would happen, when the Russian came the next day, the Russian cool of our community, engineer Fuchs, called us, and he told, look, I got the Czech police was at that time very nice. They had a spy when we had these uh, Jewish 500 boys and they had some spies and they always told to the police that we are uh, learning them and so and that is a Israeli propaganda and so and so. And he got uh, a message from a police that we are on the list and the Russians already are uh, given order that we should be arrested, that some people be arrested, and he told who is on the list. And he also told, look, I got from the police a promise, if somebody is uh, feeling that he is in a, in a danger, he got, can get a passport into ours. So I was going, I got into our passport. And the, the uh, clerk who gave me the passport, he said, you also? Mr. Kuka, did you wrote a book that the, that factory you had that, and you also are afraid? So, yes, I am. So he gave me the passport, and I came. So I came to the to uh, on the second day, on 22 of uh, of uh, on 23rd of August, I was in Vienna in the evening. Uh, 68. 68. Yes. The next next day. Now who who you? Only I. Or Olga and the no, three no, children no. you left in yes. Czechoslovakia. They knew it. I, they were on the vacation. I told, look, I am in the danger, and I will. You are not in it. I am on the list. I will see. I will wait. Nobody. We we didn't believe that the Russian will will stay there. So only at that time I was in danger. Now I told, I will not not uh, risk to 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 be here and endanger the whole family. I will go out. If the possibility is there. I was one. So I came to Vienna, and there we were very, uh, very good um, uh, accepted from the Red Cross. There was a, a new music on the on the Bahnhof and alles. And then I phoned to Wiesenthal. Wiesenthal, I knew him good from Czechoslovakia, when he wanted some information for the trials of the of the criminals who was involved in Theresienstadt. So he always asked me and I gave him information. So this entire told me, come to me, to my office and be here and, uh, and uh, so. So he uh, gave me an occupation, he paid me about 5,000 shillings a month. And in that time I tried to get contact with my family and I get them out in two months or, or to Österreich, to Austria. And when we were in Austria, so we decided where to go. So my was, decision was clear to to go to uh, to Palestine. Dov come uh, Otto came from from he was at the time in London. Otto oh, he came. changed his name from Otto the Dove. He is Otto Dov Kulka. Oh, oh both name Otto Dov. Yes, uh, he came and he told we should go there. So, but Leah was in the seven months of uh, pregnancy at the time. Right. And her husband, yes. Uh, she married a Jewish boy? No. No, no not a Jewish boy. 
and he's, he was going with her. Uh, she, he, he is a very, uh, he is a specialist in nuclear electronics. Yes, and she got at once a, a very good position in the university in the research center for the ne- nuclear electronics. Where? And her husband. Where? Oscar, of Le- in Jerusalem, on the university. And she is very, very uh, happy here. And but he's not Jewish. He is not Jewish. He told he's not Jewish. But he is going to the military. He got all, all this. Not okay. Jewish. But the um, um, baby was born, the, the uh, Mikhail, in Hadassah on this uh, November of 11. Yes. And uh, my wife is now... November 11? 11. November 11. See, our oldest granddaughter was born on November 11, too. Yes. Yes. November 11. 1963, she'll be 15 in 1968. Next week, yeah. And Dan was going to Pidhayas to the sculpture, to Toronto. As they told, in Israel there are no possibility for a sculpture. There was a group of sculptures and artists. So Hayas, you know Hayas, yeah. tried, uh, gave him to, but he came for the first time after two years to Israel and he felt so long in, in uh, Toronto, in spite he had some uh, job, he got a good job on the university as an instructor, so he moved to, to, to Jerusalem. The, the beginnings were very, very hard, but he married a very good uh, woman, very, very nice woman, very educated, uh, and she was from Vienna, he is, she is uh, a doctor of uh, biology and virology on the Hadassah University. Mm-hmm. And uh, it is, it's a very good uh, marriage. And uh, Dov was seven years in Kibbutz, I will tell you. I wrote him, he was very, cle- he had not even uh, finished the Matura, you know, the gymnasium. So he traveled from the Kibbutz to Haifa and he made his uh, uh, Matura. Do no, no. you want to hold it for a minute? No. Do you want to hold it for a minute? This is Aliyah Noah. You know Aliyah Noah. It's what it is, yes? Yeah. It's, uh, oh, Aliyah? Aliyah Noah. Aliyah. The young, young Aliyah. Mm-hmm. And uh, there was a group from Czechoslovakia, and they first were trained in Switzerland. Um, as, uh, Survivors, as you survivors from concentration camps. And there, the, he first catch the, the idea of Zionism. There was surely him in this Switzerland, yes, and they told them the history about the Jews and so on, and so they became ardent Zionists. Mm. And so, in the February 1949, he and a group of girls, about 50, 50 young Jewish children, came to Israel with Ali Anwar, which was organized by, by the Palestine office in Prague, joint. And my brother, the younger brother, came also. At that time, was also organized a military health for, for Israel, a so-called brigade, which I wrote this book. This is Somola Army, choosing Somola Army. This was started in '48. The uh, Czechoslovak government uh, uh, has sent some, some weapons to Israel and they also agreed that about 1,000 Jewish volunteers who fought before for Czechoslovakian army abroad should be trained as a Haganah Brigade for Israel. And this was so-called um, 
Gotvalová brigáda, Gotval brigade, u vás first president of Czechoslovakia, of this communist regime. And their thing was that they should help Israel as a unit and with this they should uh, help to create a socialist Israel state, uh, orient, Russian oriented. Yes. At that time the, the Arabs were uh, supported by uh, by Britons. And they thought that now is an opportunity to make from Israel a socialist country and to get a bit and military and so on. And with this transport were possible where uh, for very good conditions could go all uh, volunteers. And so also my brother volunteered to go with this transport. Yes. yes. But when they came to Israel, so the Politrux, I yeah. don't know, know what this Politrux is. This Politrux is a political officer, a communist officer, which was in charge of these four transports, and it should uh, have, be, have the task to keep the whole unit as a one unit, as a Gottwalova Brigada, that they should not be divided, yes? They should fight together to to, uh, to gain some positions. They were indoctrinated. Yes, indoctrinated. So when they came to Israel, the Israel people knew that they didn't even let these officers uh, to, to have uh, any influence. They isolated them in some hotels. What month is this? Month? With month? It's in... Uh, 49 in uh, oh. 49. No, this is already in, after the state of Israel was formed. Yes, yes. Oh, uh -huh. It began in 48. Yeah. When Israel was, and I have in your documents also, also the uh, escape, the contract. It, uh, now, did these Jewish, uh, so called Jewish brigade, did, were they permitted yes. to bring their wives or anybody or just themselves? The, the arms? No, wives. Yes, they could go with, with all the wives. Their with, families, huh? With their families, yes. Not at all. They, they uh, registered as soldiers. They became a military, uh, ex uh, military exercise, but they could go with wives. So when these people came from Czechoslovakia, these Jews, and they came into Israel, yes. did any of them bring their families with them? Yes. Mm -hmm. They was going for transport of 2,000 or 500 people and 1,500 were fighters. Uh -huh. and, then, and they all were family and family. And they could bring with them all the equipment without any customs, yes, is also was the, the... Their household goods and yes, things like that yes. to set up homes. So and now they isolated the fighting men and their wives and children, is that what they, you say? They don't isolate them. They came together. Only when they came to Israel, mm -hmm. they should, the, the, the men should be um, incorporated in the Israeli army, mm -hmm. but as a unit. As a whole many do not. Right. But at that time, all of the situation changed. First, uh, it was uh, begun this uh, armistice uh, with Arabs on Rodus, you know. Mm -hmm. So that the fight already ceased. Mm -hmm. And it was fight, uh, the fight was going on only negative at that time. Mm -hmm. So they chose only the very capable young men for this um, units and fighting and they didn't agree that they should uh, they should be 
uh, uh, itself together on one place. And these five pointers they sent back to Czechoslovakia. This, they, they couldn't fulfill their task, you, you know. They, and when they came to Czechoslovakia, they, they were arrested as traitors, as Zionistic traitors. All these four, these officers, you know. So how many returned? Only these four. The four chiefs of it. Mm. The four chiefs returned, I was on several in Israel. All four in Israel. They came back to settle? In after they were arrested and were they oh, released? No. They they lived in they lived in Czechoslovakia. They were they, still did. They, they were sixteen or sentenced to sixteen years and then later after eight or ten years they were released and they rehabilitated this this poetry. Mm. No, and of dog was at that time in Kibbutz and they learned he was an ardent kibbutznik. Nevertheless, he always asked that I should send him books and books and books. And I have relatives, I have relatives. And I always asked the relatives, I, I was, oh, I had also some money there. They should force him to, to study, to proceed his study. And he wrote me a letter that, look, we want our, our nations must go to the, the roots and there are many intelligent people and uh, we first must now go to the agriculture, to the roots, to be the right uh, nation. Uh -huh. But then, a strong nation. A strong nation. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, when they were educated, and he made uh, uh, all kind of job. You know, to, to plant some foods and to go with trucks or that. But later, when they gave them the task to create a new kibbutz with the Argentinians, it broke after a year. They, it, it doesn't work. The, the mentality of this group was very different. And this was his break and this was uh, much more, I think, the merit of his wife. He told him that uh, they should uh, not proceed to this uh, way thing. And then he wrote me once a letter. I will, will forget it. Uh, dear uh, Father, I cannot live on the Fra, uh, is a on the under Schwelle, Schwelle, we sag mal Schwelle, under Schwelle of two lives, under well, what is the between the doors? On the threshold of two lives? No, what would it be? The, uh, huh. the what, you know. Yeah, but there's a word well, for this. Is it this word? Between the doors. And then it's such a step. Yes, that's, that's the, the threshold. threshold. We say threshold. So oh, threshold. Or oh, the threshold of two lives. Mm -hmm. I to decide. Either kibbutz, either to educate. And I, I. How old is he when he says this? He was at that time, he was 18. Mm -hmm. oh, how old was he when he married? When he was married? Yeah. At that time, 18. But he had been living in the kibbutz the and kibbutz. then he's moved over and. No, he was in the kibbutz at the. There were groups in Kibbutz. Groups, girls and, and uh, Yeah. And they this was an old Kibbutz. And the Kibbutz has the task to educate the new generation.